Pro-life and pro-choice protests are going, growing across the country. As you know, it is a response to the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. In Greensboro, dozens of demonstrators gathered outside the Guilford County Courthouse. WFMY News 2's Hunter Fung joins us live now after speaking with people on both sides of this debate. Yeah, there was about 100 pro-choice advocates out here near the courthouse in downtown Greensboro. One advocate says she worries about the future after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. North Carolina, there is a chance that we will lose access and that no matter what happens, folks like abortion funds, independent clinics, reproductive justice organizers have their backs. Um, we're here to stay forever, with or without Roe v. Wade, with or without legal abortion access. We will make sure that people can access health care no matter what. Active justice organizer Brandi Collins Calhoun says she and many others are just getting started. She believes people should have the right to decide if and when they become parents, and she will continue to protest. Now, on the other side, celebration from the pro-life groups. Executive Director Tammy Fitzgerald says the North Carolina Values Coalition has fought for this change for 11 years. She says it's an emotional day for their organization and it's time to get to work. Very excited that the court has overturned Roe versus Wade as well as Casey versus Planned Parenthood. But we have a lot of work to do in North Carolina and it's going to increase our workload because we want to make sure that we protect the unborn babies in North Carolina. While there are two sides, there is a one main push from both groups. It's to vote in the upcoming election because no matter what happens in November, it could shift how the state moves forward.